Well, uh, just about a week ago, I joined this thing called Project 12. I got an email uh, from somebody, I think his name is Chris, uh, talking about this Project 12. So I joined and sort of follow, started following two people and saw this whole thing about um, one of the uh, challenges or themes of the week was to do the survey. But I met uh, uh, a couple of days ago we, well, one of the you fellow YouTubers named Angela. Turns out she's a, a neighbor of mine, relatively. We're in the same area, so uh, we, we've become rather chummy lately. So I'll say she's my friend, my YouTube, one of my YouTube friends. So I'm going to do this uh, video uh, in response to her video. On, uh, so it's basically a YouTube survey. It's about six questions in length. And uh, let's begin this one. First question. When was your first kiss? Well, uh, I'll say what's been said on, uh, that I've heard on both of them that, uh, well, my parents were my first kiss when I was born. And then beyond that, uh, uh, I really wasn't, uh, I would say, I would say, popular enough for this to be an application. I mean, this is one of the things that uh, I guess geeks and nerds uh, is part of their repertoire that uh, you remain untouched. <laughs> let's put it this way. Um, so let's go on to number two then. The most expensive item of clothes you ever bought. Oh, that's easy. You know, I, sh I, sh I you know, my, my, I, I spend an enormous amount of money on clothes. I mean, I have this nice, you know, oh, the hoodie that I bought. I mean, it was horribly expensive. It was like eight dollars. You know, that's that's pretty good chunk. And I'll show you that the shoes, nice, nice uh, the nice pink Crocs that I have. These Crocs, expensive. I spent an entire three dollars on the pair. So. That's that's the, that's the way I do shopping, warehouses, uh, warehouse sales, uh, thrift shops, um, secondhand. Um, I, uh, that, that's my in terms of my buying clothes. That's my buying clothes. Uh, otherwise, everything else comes as gifts. Christmas, birthday. You get the idea. The first job you ever wanted as a kid. Well, this is an ironic one. This is, what, and this is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to do this one. This is an ironic one. The number three, the first job you wanted as a kid. Every kid has a dream of what they want. You ask any kid, even when they're younger, six-year-old, what they want to do, and they'll tell you what they want to do. I want to be a fireman. I want to be this. I want to be that. Well, when I was a kid, uh, there was this TV show called Hilarious House of Frightenstein. Uh, and you can actually look it up on uh, YouTube here. It's on YouTube. And there were two characters in the Hilarious House of Frightenstein that I loved. And I wanted to be them. One was this crazy professor. And it was started, oh, I am the professor. And, it was, and his name was, Prof it introduced himself as Professor Julius Sumner. I later found out when I was uh, doing my undergrad work in physics natural physics that uh, Professor Julius Sumner really was a professor and then he a matter of fact he was a Nobel Prize winning scientist another Nobel Prize winning physicist so I was happy to go be going into physics knowing that uh, my childhood hero was also an actual physicist uh, the other person that uh, on the show that I wanted to be was uh, this I got a creepy old uh, librarian, and they always used to go into the library and see all the books and everything. And I always wanted to be that librarian. Well, today uh, I do live in a library, so I'm a natural physicist and I live in the library. So I am. I can say this: I am doing the first job that I wanted to do as a kid. 
That's so that, that's 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 where my life has ended up. I'm doing the fir the first job that I wanted to be as a kid. I'm doing it. That's that's that that's my fun. I mean, it's basically for me. It's like going to school for the rest of my life. I mean, I talk to people who go to work nine to five, who work in an office. They hate it. I, I you know, there yeah, I do spend long hours. Like you know, I don't finish before three, four o'clock in the morning sometimes. But you know, I'm having a blast. You know, most people who have to get up and go to work at you know, ungodly hours and take the train in for an hour or so before they sit there and work work at the same job day in day out uh, for the rest of their lives. Uh, that for me, that's a lot harder. That's you know. I, I don't want to do a job that I don't want, you know, I'd hate to do or just have to go and do it because that's the only choice, that's the only way I can pay my bills. So, number three for me is, woo, great on, great on for me because uh, I'm doing what I wanted to do uh, for the first job. Now, uh, that comes, uh, number four, my group of friends, my group of, of school friends. Well, because... I still study and do a lot, an enormous amount of work, uh, uh, an enormous amount of homework. And it's basically the same thing. It, it, my, my life is is essentially the same thing that you would do in school. There's a lot of reading. There's a lot of studying. Uh, there's writing. And now, uh, instead of putting out papers, uh, I'm producing the videos on YouTube. This is this is part of my research work. So, yay for me. And uh, so, I still do have school friends, friends who are in school still, uh, but in terms of my, where I fit in, the group, I don't have a group. That's, a, that's I s was and still am a nerd and a geek, and I just don't have any particular group that I fit in with. Uh, I do tend to enjoy the number, of, uh, in terms of who I hang out and talk with the most. Uh, these tend to be the girls who read a lot. Uh, so the, the, these girls I hang out with on YouTube and Facebook, the girls I like to talk to a lot uh, and I spent an enormous amount of time. They're in the Nerd Fighter group uh, or they're on the more, they're, they're on the, I, I get along better with kids who, uh, who are outcasts than I do with people who are so-called normal. So that's where I sort of fit in with with things. It's not that I mind normal people you know, or, or people who were popular. It's just that I don't get a lot of stuff that, that they, you know, I, I, I can't do, I can't, I don't have, I do can't do and don't have the style that they do. I can never consider myself as a star. I don't care about the hats that I wear. Uh, I don't care about what uniform I'm wearing or how stylish my clothes are or anything along those lines. Um, it's more or less, I wear my clothes sort of to make me happy. I mean, before it was, a, it, you have to dress as a guy, you have to wear all black and drab and blah, 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 because you're a guy and you can't have any bright colors in it. But I like bright colors. Bright colors like pink and stuff like that make me happy. That's the way they make me feel. So I started wearing pink. And you go, oh, you can't wear pink. And I said, why not? Because you know what it means. And I said, well, who cares? I said, why are you wearing pink? Because it makes me happy. That's why I wear pink. Because it makes me happy. But that's sort of my, uh, my, uh, my, how I end up with my, uh, friends in terms of the grouping and everything. I really don't have a grouping of friends. It's kind of, you just sort of, float along and then every so often uh, your friends uh, because they're all school kids it's more often than not they grow up and uh, there is a parting of the ways it seems that uh, the ki the people I get along with the best are between the ages of 8 and 14 and then once uh, they start hitting the 15 six, 16 mark uh, there is a parting of the ways and because they become more settled in life and uh, have a particular area they want to get into and image becomes immensely important and who wants to be seen with, a, with an old geek so that's uh, how that usually ends up but I have enough fun in between 
And I said, I meet, I, I meet, it doesn't prevent me from meeting other people or talking to other people, and I do. So there's no particular issue there for me at all. Uh, so number five, uh, the name of my future kids. Well, at this point in time, uh, considering that I am a geek and following down the geek path of uh, being forever alone, although being Greek and from the Middle Eastern background and uh, having a large church family, uh, I don't think that's ever going to be possible <laughs> because, you know, there's, there's, there's Greeks all over the place, so uh, I'll always have a place to be. Uh, so, but it is, name my future kids. Well, more likely than not, my future kids are going to be robots because I am work on a ro I'm working on these uh, Android type robots and so if I am fortunate enough to build them those will be my kids and in terms of the names I really don't know uh, what they're going to be called uh, I'm supposed to have my last name Karis so <laughs> but whatever the names are going to be I, I, I don't know I, don't, I haven't sort of thought about it I do know that the robots I'm going to be building are all going to be girls because uh, uh, you can program on gender, and because uh, girls are generally less violent than boys, if you want a, vi a robot that's not going to be violent, uh, like you see in all the movies, then the best way to program the robot is uh, to make her a girl. Uh, so that's where my uh, preference in terms of building robots are, and that's actually why Cyborg Alpha and a lot of the... Uh, my presence, my virtual presence on the internet is uh, is female, is because this is where uh, my, where the programming is is going. The computer programming and artificial intelligence is going down the female path rather than going down the male path. Uh, who should do the next survey? That's the last question. Is sort of passing the buck and saying tag you're it. I I don't really know who should do the next survey. Um, I'm pretty sure somebody will pick it up. Uh, and this is sort of, I said, we'll break rank and just not <laughs> sort of complete that answer, sort of leave it up. Whoever wants to do it next, just take it off and um, do the survey uh, if you this, if this inspires you to do so. Anyways, uh, that's it for this. Uh, this is Comments Y here. Uh, you'll see this under Comments Y. And uh, I'd like to say hello to Angela again. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.